Okay, win the sorting car. Yes, sorting. Yes, absolutely. Lootly. Fantastic. Okay, I'll stick that in my garage. No question. How about that, Mr. Raccoon? Oh, hello, everybody. It's Megalithic here, otherwise known as Poglo Escobar. And you find me in rather a good mood right, on this occasion, as I've just won a true fade out of a rather fine looking car, as you can see there. Okay, so we're going to do a review for the True Fade Adder, ladies and gentlemen, can be found under the Legendary Motorsport website, of course, and it's all the way down towards the bottom, because uh, it is a vehicle that was released a very long time ago. In fact, we have already done a video on the True Fade Adder, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, as I've won one, I thought, uh, why not do another to see how it's stacking up in the current uh, meta, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, retailing for $1 million, as you can see there, ladies and gentlemen, $1 million on the nose, it was very expensive, uh, it was uh, originally released with the game i do believe yeah it's been in the game since the start ladies and gentlemen we're gonna uh, send it over to hillcrest as we did and we're gonna get there ladies and gentlemen on this occasion uh, in the pegasi zentoro now anyone who uh, watches our videos ladies and gentlemen on a regular basis will be well aware of the pegasi zentoro and are well aware of how uh, much we like it ladies and gentlemen even when we're bumping into invisible cars like that okay so yeah, it's really a very very fine car ladies and gentlemen around the track and around the street it's just absolutely superb no longer a competitive vehicle of course but uh, my god it's good for the money okay so here we are ladies and gentlemen we are up at the uh, there we go we are up there. absolutely fantastic do love the Zentorno ladies and gentlemen uh, like I said we are here up at the Hillcrest residence uh, let's have a look at the address so let's go on inside then shall we okay so yes, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. This is the true fade adder, as I say, based on the uh, you know the, the Bugatti uh, Bayron, uh, presumably. You know, uh, it's sort of one uh, mil one million dollars. And what do we think, ladies and gentlemen? I mean, let's be honest. It's sort of I mean, it looks more menacing than the world's first nuclear bomb. Now, doesn't it? Let's be quite frank about these things. It's absolutely stunning, in my opinion. Uh, and we're gonna go and take it out, ladies and gentlemen, and see how she handles. Of course, it will be the upgraded version. Uh, but all right, we'll just take a moment to appreciate the beauty like I said based on the uh, the, the Bugatti Veyron ladies and gentlemen the, one of the fastest cars on the face of the planet and my god it's absolutely stunning now isn't it, it really is on my street this particular vehicle okay so uh, we're going to take it out ladies and gentlemen see how it handles uh, the acceleration I'm afraid it's less impressive than a peacock with alopecia you know uh, we really didn't get up that hill very fast but we'll have a look at the handling ladies and gentlemen and yes I mean it's an old car ladies and gentlemen and it's I mean it's it's harder to handle than a horny hedgehog to be quite frank with you you know uh, it's very heavy very uh, unresponsive steering ladies and gentlemen uh, and yeah, yeah very dull uh, in terms of it's just the sort of sharpness ladies and gentlemen top end speed ladies and gentlemen as you can see going down there I mean it really does go fast it goes faster than the British summer you know it's fa faster than the British summer time ladies and gentlemen that's how quick it's going to go by it's just uh, that rapid so that's what it's got going for it you know stability ladies and gentlemen as you can see it's not too bad there it is sort of sliding out but it's not all over the roads not absolutely fantastic but it's uh, not too bad either okay so uh top end speed basically is what this car's got going for as you can see we really are flying down there and this is of course the upgraded version of just have to be pointed out ladies and gentlemen and unfortunately uh when uh, playing in public lobbies ladies and gentlemen there's no doubt you are uh, yourselves aware that sort of thing can happen Okay, well, we've got to start again now, haven't we? So let's go. Uh, we want to give that uh, bottom left-hand corner a go, ladies and gentlemen. We want to give it a go at top speed, so uh, we would sort of cut in uh, close to the edge, but a uh, rather amusing spill down that hill, so and just to give you an idea of the top end speed. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Like I say, uh, the true fade uh, had a, ladies and gentlemen, based upon the Bugatti uh, Veyron, the fastest car in the world when it was released, you know, absolutely uh, breathtaking. Uh, very heavy car, had, I think, like a W6, I don't know how many range is bloody heavy and this car is as well ladies and gentlemen trying to get around that corner at top speed and we do sort of manage to do it in some uh, after a fashion ladies and gentlemen you know uh, so we sort of held the road there a little bit we go sliding off okay well there we go ladies and gentlemen that is the true fade adder as i say unupgraded that is the uh, first initial lap so of course now we are going to send it on inside into the hillcrest residence uh no we're not going to send it to the the the, uh, the maze bank offices i should say and we're going to go and have the vehicle upgraded 
Okay, so here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We are inside the custom auto shop, as doubtlessly you can see. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, as is standard fare for these videos, we will be going through this section of the video at double speed, just in order to hurry things along somewhat. Uh, for the record, we have uh, we may have cut out. Actually, I don't know if we have cut out. Uh, no, we haven't cut out something anything from this. I don't think. Oh, that's right. Yes, it's not a great deal. Uh, it's not a great deal, ladies and gentlemen. It turns out that one can actually affect uh, to this vehicle. Uh, so, uh, whereas normally we can have the performance upgrades and such forth, uh, on this occasion we're going to go and keep the sodding lot in, otherwise we'll be in and out and uh, the song will have just started and it'll be finished, you know. And uh, so there we go, yes, uh, there's a sort of two-tone coloration as you can see there, ladies and gentlemen, uh, primarily affecting the main body of the vehicle, primary colour, and then the secondary colour, affecting the stripes and a panel on the back there. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, there's not much you can do to affect uh, the, 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 the look of this vehicle. You can't even go and put a spoiler on the back of that. What did you say, Mr. Uh, Mr. Pug Dog? I said you can't even go and put a spoiler on the back of this car, you know, that's how limited the uh, the aesthetic upgrades are, rather disappointing, I'm sure you'll agree. Okay, uh, so what can one say, though, about the True Fade Idol, ladies and gentlemen, unmodified, straight out of the box? Uh, well, we've pretty much said it, haven't we? Uh, the unupgraded version, ladies and gentlemen, acceleration is lacking, it does feel, I'm sorry to report. The handling, ladies and gentlemen, is perhaps by far, you know, the worst aspect of this particular vehicle. As I say, it's very dull, ladies and gentlemen, very unresponsive, and it's very heavy. Heavy, you know? uh, where this car, what this car has not going for it, uh, even in the unupgraded version, ladies and gentlemen, is the uh, yeah, the top end speed there. You know, uh, it does sort of want to shift along, but uh, with that uh, sort of dull and unresponsive handling, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it can prove uh, sharp corners and, uh, and weaving through traffic can be a little bit tricky. Okay, uh, but still, we uh, hang for the car is not too bad. And uh, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. We've gone ahead and uh, modified the vehicle. As you can see, it's now been fully upgraded across the board in both uh, terms of aesthetic styling and performance, ladies and gentlemen. We've even gone and thrown some underlining on there, which uh, is a rather unusual step for us. Okay, but there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have uh, pretty much come to the end of this section of the video, so we're going to take it on out now. We're going to uh, try the, uh, the upgraded version, ladies and gentlemen, and see uh, how it stacks up. Okay, so here we go. We got Mr. Raccoon with his, don't you know, and his own True Fade Adder. Two fully upgraded uh, True Fade Adders, and let's see how they go, ladies and gentlemen. The acceleration, I mean, upgraded, ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's as average as an apathetic aardvark, to be quite honest with you. I mean, it's not going to wow you in any sort of way. Uh, the handling, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, trying to get around the corner there. I mean, sort of. I mean, it's sort of, it, you know, it's harder to get around a corner than, uh, than uh, a catatonic killer whale, ladies and gentlemen. It's just that, that difficult, that hard. Uh, the acceleration, as we say, is not in average. The top end speed, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it's sort of faster than a flock of geese coming out the back of a jet plane's turbine. You know, that's what this has got going for. It. And there we are. So, yes, it's, uh, the top speed really is where this particular vehicle does shine. Okay, so there we are, ladies and gentlemen. We've taken on the standard lap around the street. Mr. Akun came the cropper there. We were having a little bit of a uh, fun around the streets there. Uh, but we are now going to go and uh, complete the uh, necessary test to establish just where this vehicle stacks up in the current day uh, GTA uh, lobbies. Okay, so we've gone up to the top speed test track, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, now, uh, here we are, two true fade others going down. And uh, just to give you an indication, ladies and gentlemen, what we consider to be a competitive time to get down this straight is about 53, 54 seconds. That's what the Pegasi Zentorno can do it in, and we're going to see what the true fade adder can pull out of that hat. Okay, so here we go, and crossing the line, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to see exactly what it can do. So waiting, waiting, waiting at 52.387, so that's damn quick, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm sure you'll agree, it looks more brutish than a Roman gladiator with a Gatling gun now, doesn't it? Okay, uh, now if you are trying to do these videos with Mr. Raccoon, you might just come along and find him just spinning around uh, in the uh, in, in a barn there, like that. He's just, just, just absolutely crazy, isn't he? Uh, Okay, well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the very first car that we're going to bring out is going to be the True Fade Nero, don't you know? I believe this is retailing for about $1,440,000, something along those lines. Can be upgraded at pennies, ladies and gentlemen, to the custom. I do not believe that this particular version has been. Uh, so now the question is, ladies and gentlemen, how does the adder stack up against the Nero, its big sister? Okay, and I'm sure you'll be rather surprised to see, ladies and gentlemen, we got around about the same time and we sat neck and neck down the back straight there. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen, for your extra, uh, for sort of half a million dollars, ladies and gentlemen, is what you'll be paying. You are going to get that across the line in front of it, but only just in front, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure you'll agree, that perhaps is rather interesting, you know? 
Okay, and the next question we're going to be now asking, ladies and gentlemen, is the True Faith Fracks. It's big, big sister, don't you know? Retailing for, and wait for it, $2,325,000, ladies and gentlemen, for the True Faith Fracks. We have hold it on this show to be an absolute shocking disappointment. And you may be saying, well, why is that Mr. Punk Dog Scott Ryan? It's doing better than the True Fade Nero. There, it's sat in front of it all the way there, got to the top corner faster, got uh, down around the corner there faster. And I say, uh, you might want to uh, wait for it, and uh, wait for it, and wait for it, and wait for it, and wait for it, and there you sodding go, ladies and gentlemen. Cross the line at the same sodding time. Absolutely uh, performed worse than the Nero, ladies and gentlemen. So the adder could almost take down the Thrax in it. Uh, more than twice the price, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure you'll agree that it really is a shocking disappointment. Another shocking disappointment, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the uh, Garotti Turismo R. Retailing for a price of $500,000. That's half a million dollars ladies and gentlemen that is half the price of the true fade adder ladies and gentlemen and that is in front of us ladies and gentlemen so yes unfortunately ladies and gentlemen even a bottom end garotti ladies and gentlemen is going to beat the pants off the true fade adder and that really is rather disappointing i'm sure you'll agree Okay, well, uh, it's gone back, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to keep on going, and the next vehicle that we're going to bring out is the, uh, the Schlagen, Schlagen, Schlagen. If you don't know this particular vehicle, it's a benefactor, uh, I believe it's retailing for about $1,300,000, something along those lines, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's a very, very interesting car, Mr. Raccoon really does favor this particular vehicle, as you can see, it's got better top-end speed acceleration going to the top there ahead of us, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the handling, though, ladies and gentlemen, is, yes, there we go, it sort of sat behind us, uh, it couldn't get around the corner faster, but that top-end speed kicks in again and it turns out the true fade out of ladies and gentlemen does go down to the benefactor schlager 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 okay well then i'm going to bring it on to the next one and this is uh, the emperor no is this yes it is it's the emperor etr1 ladies and gentlemen this is retailing for near as damn two million dollars uh, and it is a uh, absolutely shocking car you know it sort of loses to all sorts of things around the track so uh, we've seen the, uh, the, the Adder, ladies and gentlemen, sort of lose narrowly to the Nero, sort of come neck and neck with the Flex, ladies and gentlemen. It's obviously gone ahead and lost to the Garotti there. I don't know how we're going to, how's it going to stand the Schlager, of course, and we're going to see how it stacks up against the ETR, one, two million dollars. And yes, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, yes, it's uh, going to do it, isn't it? Let's be quite frank about these things. And yes, they're absolutely uh, shocking. Don't buy the Emperor ETR1. Okay, well, we're going to start wrapping things up, ladies and gentlemen, very slowly. Now we take a little bit longer to wrap it up, don't you know? This is uh, the Benefactor Serrano. Uh, Serrano, I should say. For those who do not know, for the hose and hoe, for the uninitiated, as we say, it is what we refer to as a serious contender. Retailing for a price of $110,000 only. It can be found on the Legendary Motorsport website towards the very bottom of the page. It's the lowest end sports uh, benefactor there is, ladies and gentlemen. It's a very, very fine car. But it's not going to stand up to the Adder, ladies and gentlemen. So yes, the Adder can take down the uh, uh, the Benefactor Serrano, and thank God at least for that, you know. Okay, well, uh, the very next vehicle, of course, will be the uh, Pegasi Zentorno, $725,000, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, we do rate this car very highly. It has been driven, of course, by Mr. Raccoon. Mr. Raccoon's name is The Bromby. He has a channel of his own. It is called The Bromby. If you add that into YouTube, ladies and gentlemen, you should be able to go and find it. And when you do that, it's got some rather good videos on there. Okay, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're starting to get a feel for the item now. Obviously, it's not going to be able to take down the uh, Pegasi Zentorno, ladies and gentlemen. There's not a hope in hell. Uh, so what, uh, what can one say? You know, it's uh, sort of uh, $725,000 beating a million dollars, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, there really is a sore disappointment for any lovers of the Bugatti Veyron. There's, of course, one more question left, ladies and gentlemen. And that question is and always will be for now the Karate Itali RSX. And, of course, the answer is going to be there's not a sodding chance the ad is going to beat it, ladies and gentlemen. The RSX is one of the finest cars on the game. So it's going to disappear off into the sunset ladies and gentlemen and we're going to uh, start our wrap up right now so what can we say about the uh, the true fate adder ladies and gentlemen i mean it's sort of uh, you know it looks more angry than a pirate with piles now doesn't it uh, the acceleration ladies and gentlemen uh, it's more underwhelming than a wrestling dwarf to be quite frank with you uh, the handling ladies and gentlemen i mean it's sort of it's got a turning circle wider than your mother's backside and to be quite frank with you 
it's just as fun to try to handle. It's the acceleration, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it's like, uh, you know, it's sort of like faster than a baby seal swept up in a tsunami. Okay, so what can we say? Is it worth buying for the million dollars, ladies and gentlemen? Well, if you're thinking of buying a true fade, it's not that bad, you know? Our, our take on it is, uh, if you're on a budget, ladies and gentlemen, you only want to spend the million dollars, uh, then go for this. If you want a few more customization, go for the Nero. Sorry, raccoon. Okay, well, there we go. I do hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching.